Hey everyone, welcome back to On The Tee with May. We are here again at Towns Cove Golf Course for the 118th Women's State Amateur. Do you guys say amateur or amateur? Um, we have a special guest today, Nuni Kamkin, and I am so excited. Let's go find her and interview her. We are here with Nuni. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for taking some time to do a quick interview. Stay down today. How do you feel? How are you feeling about the week? Wow, I've, I've been trying to prepare myself for this event. I'm very excited to play with these. Well, these ladies are, are very good players. Yeah. They're very strong players, so I gotta get myself in gear. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you a good match player? You know what, I... What? So and so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when it comes to match play, it, it's a different story. Yeah, it's not like a stroke play because you just want to go out there and, and beat your opponent yeah. so, and play your best shot. No, it's definitely a different game. Exactly, for sure. exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all. How did you, when did you start? Yeah, um, I started when I was 36 years old, and that was about 15 years ago. Yeah. And um, I was, you know, just going through some hard times, and then uh, with my three little ones, and yeah, so my friends got me into it, the guy friends, and they gave me a set of clubs and had me hit some balls, and here it is now. <laughs> now <laughs> I can't get rid of them. It. Yeah. Now you're addicted? Yeah, okay. I'm addicted. It's been a passion, so <laughs> yes, I love I it. Love it. Yeah. Um, how often do you uh, play and practice in a week? You know what, um, I try to play at least two to three times a week. But mostly I try to go out and practice as much as I can, especially on the short games and yeah. make sure my swing is in plane. What's <laughs> your strength then on the golf course? <laughs> you know, right now is my, um, well, my drive has been really good and I love my chipping right now. Awesome. So, and it's that's where game. you kind of want need to score is yeah. to get that chip close. So, exactly. And that's my goal. Lowest score? 65. Match play or stroke play? Stroke play. Favorite golf course you've ever played? Coeur d'Alene. A favorite golf course in Utah? Mm, there's so many, I can't think. <laughs> Top three favorite courses in Utah. Okay, I do like Valley View, Eaglewood. What's that one over there? <laughs> that other one over there. <laughs> oh, Thanksgiving Point. Oh. What's your favorite club in the bag? My eight. Favorite guilty pleasure? Beating my opponent. <laughs> A drink of choice on the golf course? Gatorade. Favorite on-course snack? The G20. Okay. The, the Pro protein bar. The protein, bars. The protein bars. Uh, yeah. Music on the course or no music? No music. No music. Yeah. Just listening to the birds. Yes. Favorite movie? Oh, I don't really watch movies. <laughs> no movies. Golf Channel. Is that a movie? <laughs> Do you go for it or lay up? Go for it. Always. Always. YOLO. Biggest superstition? Thinking it's going to go in the hole <laughs> and I miss it. <laughs> Favorite band? I like the pop. Oh, I like Shakira okay. a lot. The yeah. hips don't lie. <laughs> so you gotta really move your hips when you're golfing. Favorite color? <laughs> red. What's your favorite Skittle flavor? The red one. Is that strawberry oh, or cherry? It's like red flavor. Punch? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're for welcome. Rapid Thanks fire. for having me. <laughs> Thanks. You won the 2023, 2023 mm -hmm. Seniors Women's yes. Player of the Year. Tell us a little bit about that. Wow, that was really exciting. It's um, unexpected because, you know, when you're playing out there, you really, well, to me, I really wasn't focusing on, on winning. I just wanted to play the best game mm -hmm. ever, and, um, and it happened. And, yeah, I'm very grateful in, in, the, long, in the, um, the the treasure that came along with that was to play in the LPGA, yeah. you know, senior with the legends, and that was amazing. Yeah, the dream come true. When was that? The, so uh, you mm -hmm. were exempt from yes. the LPGA for the Copper Rock yes. tournament. Yes. Um, how was that? How was that experience? Oh wow, it's it's a whole new, different level. These ladies are fabulous. I mean, you only watch them on TV. <laughs> Yeah, and when I when I saw them and Julie Ingster and all the big names, yeah, uh, yeah and um, yeah, I was more like starstruck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wow, <laughs> I saw her on TV. You know? Yeah, it you it like was really to take great. Photos of them, like in yes, the back yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, do you get nervous at all when you're playing these big tournaments and stuff? You know, I do. Um, being focused is really a priority. Yeah, I try to try to stay in the game and. You just have to take one shot at a time. What's next for you this golf season? Well, you know, um, I have another big, um, well, I'm looking forward to play Pinehurst. Yeah, in August. So I've, you know, with the exemption and yeah. to qualify. So I, I got that, you know, uh, actually a net 
told me, she goes, Nuni, you got to play into, in this one. <laughs> I looked into it. I'm like, I'm in. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to playing Pinehurst. Yeah. I will be playing number seven, number five, and number four. That will be so fun. So, yeah. That's definitely a bucket list. Yes. So. For sure. Okay. Well, thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. Good luck for this having. week. Thank you. And I'll be rooting for you. All right. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And we will see you guys next month. Bye.